As you can see in today's video, we're in the kitchen and we're going to get cooking, guys. Expert as a piece. Hey guys, it's just Janela and welcome back to another video. And if you're joining me for the first time, welcome to my channel. Here we focus on lifestyle, health, and wellness. So there's great content. So make sure you subscribe right now. I'm gonna give you like five seconds. Thank you, good. And make sure you hit that notification bell as well. Bring your little notebook, write down the recipes, and we're gonna make some healthy, nutritious, delicious food today. So let's get straight into the video. shredded coconut to the waffle mix just gave the waffle flavor profile that extra pop that you would not regret. Trust me on this. Let me tell you all about this mini waffle maker that I got on Amazon. It was pretty affordable, probably at $11, and it comes in so handy in moments like this, turning your breakfast or brunch scheme up. love chicken bacon so please don't judge me I honestly just love chicken Overall, this breakfast was super delicious. The waffles weren't lacking on flavor, although they weren't as firm as regular waffles. Knowing that they're low carb just made it even better, and it tasted so good. I would definitely recommend Farm Girl Waffle Mix. Firstly, I washed the potatoes and cut off any bruises on their skin. Afterwards, I cut them up into little dices, then preheat your pan with a little bit of grapeseed oil and add onions, garlic, and peppers. Then add your potatoes. Preheat the oven and get it ready for the asparagus and the baked chicken. Oh, 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 oh,
left it overnight. Then I placed it in the aluminum pan in the oven covered for about 20 to 25 minutes. Then I took it out and I placed my special sauce on one side, placed it back in the oven, and what you do to one side, you must do to the next. Curry chickpeas. This has grown to be one of my absolute favorite side dishes. It's high in fiber. Who doesn't want fiber? So after cutting up the garlic, parsley, onion, and ginger, I added it to the frying pan with a little bit of oil, let it simmer for a bit. Then I added the whole can of the chickpeas with all its juices and let it simmer. Look at that right there. And also add cumin. After cleaning and seasoning the chicken, I left it overnight and then I cut a pocket into the chicken press and I'm going to just slightly put some badia seasoning in the pockets and then add my chicken stuffing. Two hours later. Sometimes you just need to take a break. Sear the chicken breast on the stove top for approximately two minutes on each side just to get it a little bit brown and then added the stuffing inside the pockets then place those juicy chicken breasts in the oven for baking after cutting up the broccoli and putting it into a bowl of hot water and covering it with CRM wraps so it could steam I then proceeded to assemble the stuffing using cream cheese as my base then add in onions, green peppers, spinach, parsley, garlic, and any other seasoning I want to add to it to add to give it more taste. And then adding the broccoli and parmesan cheese. Then you're good to go. subscribe people i'll see you guys in another video cinnamon alone smashed it up and voila thank me later this will let your sweet potatoes taste so good cheers thanks for watching have a good day